Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You were on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about Adrian? He brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. I'm talking from experience. Traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. owned by the Argentinian embassy. Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Circumstantial. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it.
Thanks, ma'am. You better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard, after all. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? 
Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. How bad is This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. I bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a... Run in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. The 
it comes with the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter.
hasn't given me anything to go on. No good. We need diplomatic plates. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. The vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkie using color, and look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. 
I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Here he is, apartment three. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 minutes. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. Maybe. He will be a good father. No. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. No good to me. I don't think so. Diplomatic license plates. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricón that he is a man. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. 
I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. He's getting away. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! Come on, you're getting creamed by a kid in a red fort. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out.
God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day oh, field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. 